since the Soviet Union collapsed, we have seen nothing but a very fast demise in living standards, a horrific civil wars, very sharp decline uh, from what was perhaps the richest, the wealthiest state uh, of the Soviet Union to one of the poorest countries in the world in the beginning to mid-90s. And so we can say that uh, all of Georgia has been collapsing uh, for the past 20 years. And His Holiness and the institute that he has has been the oasis of, of blossoming stability and giving people hope. We met him because a dear friend um, invited myself and my traveling companion um, to attend a mass. And I was immediately aware with the patriarch that I was in the presence of a very, very special, saintly person. He's revered just by everybody, everyone, disregarding his political affiliation, class or social belongings or nationality. He is also a, a symbol of unity in this country and a symbol of goodwill and uh, love and uh, among people. And uh, actually, you could say that uh, he symbolizes everything positive that I can think about. Our tradition of church and uh, the handwriting of His Holiness has never been to run the earthly affairs of the nation. This is not the church is there for. Uh, this is on one hand. On the other hand, this uh, concrete separation of spiritualism from daily life is a very non-Eastern thing, very remote uh, for our way of thinking. Religion and faith is not something you put in the museum and pick up on Sunday Mass. basis for the election of our patriarch to the honorary membership of the Georgian National Academy of Sciences is, is, is just this fact of his being a personality who combines in himself faith and knowledge, science and religion in complementarity sense of the term. Um, he was wonderful, he was wonderful, but at the same time he was human. He was delighted to discuss what we were eating at the same time as I had the feeling that Georgia was in very good hands with this, with this man. Patriarch has been extremely careful and balanced. He, he, he's very omnipresent in his writings, in his speeches, and I, I see him more as a visionary, someone who defines the, the vectors. I think the calm is a virtue in most cultures and, and religions. We lack calm and balance. He has what I value greatly, which is that gift of calm. He spreads about him a calmness. One is calm, and he's a, it's a sort of soothing of the soul in his presence. He has always had the people in his heart. The people comes first and then interests, other interests come second, unlike the government officials. He filled me with 
a sense of a spiritualism that a lot of one's Western life lacks. People revere him because he gives to everybody what Christians expect from, uh, from the head of the church, the hope. We sat with the choir and the music was incredible. It was wonderful. What a gift. What an extraordinary gift to have that not only are you close to God in your prayers, but to receive from God that gift of being able to make music that lifts other people to God, because that's what music does. It, it doesn't just please the ear, it lifts the spirit, and that's what his music certainly did.